Well, personally, this is one of my favorite projects to do. I feel like the return on investment for the customer is probably one of the best that we offer. Um, obviously, you know, you have the, the two pound closed cell foam. It's the best insulation there is for this type of application. Um, it seals up all air transfer, all thermal transfer, and all moisture transfer. Um, and an added benefit is structural rigidity. Um, it adds strength to the building structurally. When you have corrugation in the metal, you know, typically what they use is like a blanket fiberglass insulation um, and it gets pinched behind, you know, cross members and, you know, the, the, the structural supports, it gets pinched behind there, reducing the R value. And then there's gaps in the corrugation where it can't conform. So what the spray foam does is when it, when it expands into all these areas, it's actually filling up those voids and just completely forming to every contour of the building, making sure that, you know, every gap, every crack is full with insulation and, you know, there's no possible air leakage or loss in R value due to, you know, this, the, the building, you know, structure and contours. Over time, I mean, fiberglass, it just loses its it loses its initial manufactured form and you know when it's really cold in the winter and then it's really hot in the summer and all those seasons together it just kind of takes its toll on the fiberglass and it ends up kind of sagging and lose it especially in the ceiling it will kind of sag and it'll lose that R value um, when it gets pinched behind you know walls and stuff like that so you know the spray foam how you see it now is how it's going to be in 20, 30, 40 years it's never going to change.